For all the dysfunction and infantile partisan gamesmanship, we are occasionally reminded that America has the capacity for growth as well as reason. Now, on the anniversary of Selma, we had an African-American president and attorney general remind us of both the work still needed to be done, but also the progress that we have seen. Gay marriage, it's becoming the norm, and tolerance is more common today than is ignorance. But as we've witnessed changes unthinkable just a generation ago, there is an issue that neither tragedy, public opinion, or rational thought has managed to wrestle away from the interest groups and the fear mongers. I'm of course referring to the unending pipeline of guns and their predictable carnage to our children, our families, law enforcement, and beyond. Now I wish it were harder to present supporting evidence for my argument, but I want you to think about what's just happened the past two weeks. In a single county in Texas, over a course of four days, three boys in three separate incidents were killed by guns that were unsecured. A three-year-old died when he shot himself in the neck while playing with a gun at home. His mother was in the next room. Two days later, a four-year-old shot and killed himself with a gun that he found at a relative's house. The next day, a five-year-old fatally shot his six-year-old brother at their house. It's believed that the boy thought the gun was a toy. Now in the aftermath, the county sheriff all but begged residents to secure their guns and take advantage of, listen carefully, the free trigger locks his office would provide residents. Now where were the state leaders, you ask? They were more concerned pushing legislation that would let every state resident openly carry a gun at all times. You see, the best way to protect kids, not to mandate, let alone even promote gun safety, is to have everybody pack heat everywhere at every time. But not every current and former lawmaker has lost their mind. New York Senator Chuck Schumer, he's pushing legislation that would bar suspected terrorists from buying guns. Now think about it. A person on a terror watch list or a no-fly list can walk right into a gun store and buy a gun without any questions asked. And there's more. Gabby Giffords, she of course, the then congresswoman, who was shot at a public event in 2011. She introduced last week a bipartisan bill that would close a loophole that allows the sale of guns without background checks to, listen carefully, criminals, domestic abusers, and the mentally ill. Now, 90% of the American public agrees with Giffords, but still, the gun lobby accused her of assaulting the Second Amendment, and a leading conservative columnist called her, and I'm quoting correctly here, a human shield for the gun safety movement. Now, that's classy. Finally, though, this gem. There is a federal proposal to ban the sale and manufacture of M855 green tip bullets. That's a fancy way of saying armor-piercing bullets. This is ammunition designed for the specific purpose of killing man, specifically somebody with a bulletproof vest. Further translation, police. The bazaar now, it veers into the macabre. The gun industry decided that limiting this cop-killing ammo to semi-automatic weapons, well, that was shortchanging their market share. So what did they do? They modified the bullets for handguns. When the administration cried foul, the NRA and the Republican lapdogs in Congress said that the ATF should mind their business and that this was really just, and I'm quoting again here, a move against women. I can't make this stuff up. So to recap, dead kids, no support for trigger locks. Trying to keep guns out of the hands of terrorists, criminals, wife beaters, and the mentally ill, you're an enemy of gun rights. And finally, if you want to stop the human garbage, that manufacturing cop-killing ammo, now modified for your handgun, you're an enemy of women. If your conscience isn't even a little offended, you need to start listening and you need to start speaking up. Because America, we are better than this. We're going to take a quick break and we'll have headlines on the other side.